Oh, cursed. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Alright, that was sick. So this is the, the gem. He looks the, like a fat old Danny Trejo. This is the, the message. I can get you moving and you will love it too. Wrong too. I'll eat your pussy for a few times of coming. I won't stop until you come in my mouth several times. Liquor kid. <laughs> Damn, son. It's when you get chat messages like that that you really wonder what why is the why is the abbreviation for control point CP? Just nothing but utter paranoia. Son of- I was paranoid in the wrong direction. Ah, damn it. Double damn it. Got him! Okay, that was a fucking body shot. Ah, that, that was a pull in the way of that one. Got you. Damn, bro. Fucking lazy purple talking about his nine hours of sleep. 10,000 IQ play is getting one hour of sleep. Clearly. Like, I, I swear to fucking God. The fact that you go to another universe when you owe someone, or like when you're being basically. I don't know, extorted, more or less, for your services. And it's just like, oh, we're in another universe now where we don't have to do that anymore. And then you're still just, like, pretending that's what you have to do. There is no moment of realization, like, oh, hey, wait, we don't have to do this. We could just, like, leave. No one might even stop us, because why would they? Oh, yeah, I could do the fucking... I could do the Bioshock Infinite Vox weapons for Bad Weapon Academy. Because they're fucking awful. And it would give me more opportunity to bitch about how much I hate Bioshock Infinite. And you know what? I'm not sure if that's something I could turn down. See, when I'm playing Sniper, right, I want to I wanna get myself into as far away a position from the enemy as possible. That's why I come out this way. I swear to fucking God. I, like, dodged in real life. Like, I moved my head out of the way in real life to try and dodge that Huntsman arrow. Jesus Christ. God, people sleep on the back scratcher. <laughs> I feel like I'd have to look around at the games and uh, see what I'm gonna want. Ooh! Thank God we nerfed the diamond back. Thank you, beans. Like, that was actually fair! Oh yeah, don't worry. I, I know for a fact I'm going to get a clip of someone disconnecting in the pre round. Yeah, I got a pain train. What are you gonna do? 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 What are you gonna do?
<laughs> we live in a society. Oh my god, his face was still doing facial flexes. That's not the real Apple Tech. I'm gonna assume not anyway. Because Apple Tech is like a really high tier trader. What? Oh. oh, it is. Okay. Uh, I guess it is then. Yeah, and the only reason I know who Apple Tech is is because I was scammed by a fake one once. <laughs> yeah, that was my first unusual. I won it in a raffle. And then, uh. It's. It was a stupid scam. I shouldn't have fallen for it, but you know, it only took me the one time to be like, "Oh, hey, I'm a uh, never gonna trust that shit again." Like anyone that adds me for an offer on my unusual, just don't do it. Just don't do it. I'm so bad. Got him. Got him. Got him. Would have got an achievement there. Yeah, he's not cheating. Like, either he let me get that headshot, or else, like, he's not cheating. I was going for the engineer! He fucking get down Mr. President at him! Any games you gonna get the summer sale? I already got Titanfall 2 and Black Mesa. They were like five bucks each, so it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Some people see a game and it's like, oh man, $30, what a bargain. I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I feel like the man melter's kind of holding me back at this point. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. They're right next to each other! Okay, sentries are down. Look at this. Nature is healing. This is beautiful. Uh, thank you for the 3,000 isks, G. Steph. Uh, sweaty greasy wrangler was so good to my blackened kernel of a heart that you squelched this money out of me. That is that is a strange sentence, my friend. But thank you for uh, the squelching. Ambassador Moivin, you've killed my lawyer. You're welcome. Crater. Fuck. Why are, why are they all using the black box? Or the African American box? Excuse me. Yes. Yes! I'm beautiful now. Finally. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate this. I now no longer have to look for Scout Unusuals whenever I go window shopping. Oi! Ooh. That was scary. Yeah. Ah, jeez. The one time I wish I had the sun on a stick! An excellent ragdoll, my friend. Well done. Now, I'm telling you, the, the direction that Jurassic Park is going to go in next is Jurassic Universe. And it'll be all about trying to stop a meteor that's about to crash into Earth. And so the CIA will recruit a bunch of dinosaurs to stop it. Because, obviously, the dinosaurs, they're going to be the ones who want to get the most revenge on that meteor. And you get, like, all the big dinosaurs from the movies. You got the T-Rex. The you got Blue. You got the Spinosaurus, the Gignotosaurus, the Therizinosaurus. They have like a back and forth with the T-Rex. It's like, ooh, I fucking hate you. But it's like, we have to work together to stop this meteor. And then, when they get to the meteor, 
aliens. It's all part of an alien plot to destroy the world. And so the dinosaurs, they take their laser guns and they start having a fight with the aliens. And like a space techno remix of the Jurassic Park theme plays. And that's the first trailer. Alien dinosaurs. Yes. 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 They're alien dinosaurs who escaped the initial meteor. And their plan is to get rid of the humans on the Earth so that dinosaurs can rule the world again. Oh, that's it. This is a movie. This we got a script on our hands, boys. Uh, I do have Prehistoric Kingdom, actually. I wouldn't recommend buying it yet. I think it's too early access at the moment. Like, it seems more proof of concept than early access. It's a lot better than Mesozoica. Like, at the same state of its release. Or its early access release, anyway. But... I'm not sure if I would recommend it just yet. Unless it's just, like, you really want to support the devs going forward. Like, I'm totally fine doing that. Because, like, I do have plenty of faith in this project. But... If it's just like, oh, hey, I want a really good park management sim game right now, you're not going to get that. You're going to get something that has a good building tool and not much else. Like, if you want a park management sim game with dinosaurs, then, like, just get Jurassic World Evolution 2. Even if it still does, I think, need work, it's... It is a game. And Prehistoric Kingdom at the moment is mostly just a proof of concept. It's a good proof of concept. I, I have faith. But... It's, it's not quite there yet in a way that it's like, okay, I'm going to, like, play the shit out of this right now. Okay, good. You're real. Ah! I was so busy checking the spy. I didn't realize... What more does Jurassic World 2 need? Uh, for starters, I think one of the biggest things is... Like, aquatic animals... Excuse my pun, for lack of a better term, they need more depth. There is... Basically nothing to caring for them. And I think there's a lot you can do, like, just in terms of making them more interesting to watch. Like, give them social behaviors. Give them idle behaviors, like breaching. I can't believe they don't breach! Fucking Zoo Tycoon 1 in 2001 had its marine animals breach when they were idle. And it was fucking cool to see. Like, every now and then, you just get, like, your sperm whale or your humpback whale leaping out of the water. Um, I think challenge mode needs, like, a classic challenge mode. Like, like what we got in JW1 and what we got in JPOG. Where it's like... Randomized dig sites. Like, no... None of this shit where it's like, oh, you can only get such and such number of species in challenge mode. I don't want that shit. I want to be able to get whatever I can get, just like with... You know, the constraint of... It's like JPOG. Pterosaurs have some issues. I'd really like to see them walk, especially now that we have Quetzalcoatlus. And um, on the subject of Quetzalcoatlus, it is so goddamn big and, like, how big it is is an issue because when it's flying around in the aviary, it's honestly kind of ridiculous. It's like, th this is, this area is just too small. Like, I think being able to extend the height of aviaries would be very nice. Just in, in terms of general aesthetics, and especially in terms of caring for the Quetzalcoatlus. Or any other as dark as they might add down the line. Because I love as dark and pterosaurs, and I was very happy to see them properly represented as giant murder giraffes in a prehistoric planet. I actually found it kind of funny uh, in prehistoric planet. It seemed like they 
kind of overcorrected with the carnivores, almost. Where it's like, you never see the T-Rex, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, kill another animal. I think, like, one of the babies eats a sea turtle or something. And even then, it's kind of off in the background. But you never see... Like a T-Rex actually kill another animal on screen. You get that with the Changesaurus. Like, certain dinosaurs, certain carnivores are just like, oh, hey, you know, like, we're just out here eating crabs or doing our dance with our little tiny arms. And that's all you really get for those dinosaurs. And it's kind of, kind of the only impression you do get when I think... I think a walking with dinosaurs style narrative rather than the planet earth style narrative where it's like you focus on one species and you get to really know a lot of different facets about them i feel like that would have worked out for certain species better because like you don't want there to be you know nothing to dinosaurs like carnivorous dinosaurs but they hunt and they kill you don't want there to be anything to had nothing to hadrosaurs and stuff like that, but they're just food for the carnivores. You don't want that kind of stuff. But a part of what makes carnivorous dinosaurs interesting is the unique ways in which they would go about hunting. Like if all we get of Carnotaurus is look at his funny little mating dance, then that's all we really get of him, and we don't really get to know. Oh, hey, Carnotaurus was basically the fastest fucking thing on two legs. And maybe talk about how that would impact its hunting. But then with the pterosaurs, they're basically fucking monsters. Pterosaurs are bastards in this show. From the first episode on, they're like killing each other's babies and stuff. Hatsagopteryx is eating these tiny little dinosaurs. Like that one Nyctosaurus looking motherfucker just like shoves the guy into the fucking cliff. Fucking kills him. Pterosaurs are fucking mean! It's like you almost get the impression that the dinos- like the carnivorous dinosaurs were all chill. It was the pterosaurs who were the problems. The Pachyrhinosaurus hunt scene was cool. Yeah, it was. I find it interesting that like... We got hunt scenes... For... Nanuxaurus and Changusaurus, but not Tyrannosaurus. Like, the little tiny obscure Tyrannosaurus that no one really knows about? Sure! T-Rex itself? Nah. Squirrels will eat the eggs of birds if given the opportunity. Exactly why does the dinosaur thing surprise you? It doesn't surprise me, it's just like, it's, it's funny to me because some carnivores basically never kill anything for their entire screen time. Or if they do, it's just something like a little lizard or a crab or something. But then the pterosaurs... ...are completely the opposite, where it seems like all they ever do is murder the shit out of stuff. Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. That's mean! Why? Shit. Oh, I made it. Oh, I double made it. This is I really wanted to backstab him. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Do I think Prehistoric Kingdom will be a good game in the future? Yeah, I got faith. As long as they, like, keep up with the... Like, keep up with the development. As long as they can get some good funding for that sort of thing. I got faith. I think they have a chance of making a really good game. Well, I think just the fact that they've updated it once already means it's not going to end up like Mesozoica. The Mesozoica guys took the money and just ran. Oh, jeez. 
Oh my god, just die. Ah, I saw pain. Really? That's your priority? At 71% over? This is your priority? He's dead. 71% crits over. And he's just like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm just gonna shoot my overdose and see what happens. What the fuck? <gasps> the fuck you in particular stick? He knows. I enjoyed it a lot. However, I, I do still prefer walking with dinosaurs. Like, I think the story structure worked better there for, like, displaying the animals. Like, I think uh, prehistoric planet structure worked better for displaying more animals. But I think for the ones that, like, the story wanted to focus on, I think walking with dinosaurs did it better. I mean, obviously, except in terms of scientific accuracy, which... Like, obviously, Walking with Dinosaurs is like, what, 99? Thoughts on Walking with Beasts and Monsters? It's been way too long since I've seen Walking with Beasts. Um, I remember being fucking traumatized as a child when the Gastornis egg was, like, hatching and then the ants started coming. Yeah, trying similar but different things and both accomplished them spectacularly. Your preference will come down to which thing they were doing that you prefer. I, I definitely prefer the Walking with Dinosaurs approach because I think it just... It gives more opportunity to showcase, like, as many different facets of the creature or the world that you're focusing on, like the time period and location that you're focusing on. It gives you more opportunities to do that, whereas Prehistoric Planet gives you a lot more opportunities to focus on, like, you know, s several different creatures that you wouldn't really get the chance to maybe make a full uh, episode of TV on. Like, I don't know much about the formation that Mashiachosaurus comes from. Except I know Majungasaurus also comes from there and apparently also Beelzebufo. So, I don't know if that's something you could really make a full episode of Dinosaur TV on. But... It lets you see what I think is a really cool and uh, certainly underrepresented species. Because I like Mashiachosaurus. I do think its lower jaw wasn't quite exaggerated enough. I'd say casual has mostly been fixed. There are still some bots get shit on. But, uh, it's not nearly as bad. I think that having to stick to, you know, certain stock dinosaurs more or less, like the T-Rex, the Triceratops stuff like that maybe that prevented them or maybe that's what made it feel like a bit more of a disconnect whereas if they focused more on the more obscure dinosaur species then i think it would have felt a lot more natural or justified you heard t-rex has feathers uh not really there's no evidence to suggest that t-rex had a feathered coat uh, pretty much that was the like the the Reports of that came from phylogenetic bracketing being taken to its most extreme due to the discovery of Eutyrannus. And Eutyrannus is an early ancestor of T Rex. <laughs> Farewell. That, uh. It lived in about the early Cretaceous, to my knowledge. And it had a full feathered coat. And then, like, the discovery of this was like, holy shit. Like, what does this mean in terms of T-Rex? Does that mean T-Rex was feathered? And, um, the answer to that is basically no. Because we have lots of skin impression of T-Rex and later more derived Tyrannosaurs, like Despletosaurus, Tarbosaurus, Albertosaurus, that pretty much conclusively prove that... If T-Rex did have feathers, they would have been extremely thin and extremely sparse. Kind of like the hairs you see on modern elephants. So there is precedent to assume that, yeah, the, the baby T-Rexes, the juveniles, they could have had feathers. But the adults, almost certainly not. At least not to the extent where it's like, oh hey, 
These guys are basically just like big fuzzy chickens. Jurassic Park T-Rex is more accurate than you thought. Eh. It's it's got its own share of accuracies and inaccuracies. The whole vision hunting by movement thing. No. T-Rex had spectacular binocular vision. Yeah, T-Rex had amazing eyesight. It had full-on binocular vision. It had a fantastic sense of smell and also great vision. So, like, this thing was perfectly adapted to killing shit. So, Jack Horner, with his whole T-Rex is a scavenger thing, is just basically being a massive contrarian for the sake of it. Yeah, if T-Rex was a scavenger, it wouldn't have needed such a ridiculous bite force. That's the other thing, it had an insane bite force. Um, and you might say, well, like, what about hyenas? Don't they have a strong bite force and they're scavengers? To which the response is, no, they're not scavengers. Hyenas are great hunters. Yeah, hyenas hunt way more than they scavenge. And in fact, there's plenty of instances where lions will scavenge off of hyena kills. Hyenas are super misrepresented. Lions don't mess with yeans. Uh, they do mess with yeans. Like, they, they do have an intense rivalry. And in fact, um, on the subject of dinosaurs, actually, there is fossil evidence to show, I believe, that Ceratosaurus and Allosaurus in uh, the Morrison Formation had potentially a similar relationship where it's like fossil lo or locations that have high concentrations of Allosaurus fossils have low concentrations of Ceratosaurus fossils and the other way around. Yeah! Good shit, good stream. Casual, a lot better. Not that many, uh, not that many bots. Dinosaur tier list video. I feel like that's a, that's, that's a case where it's like, I don't know any dinosaur where it's like, oh, I hate this thing. Grr. Do, I, I just, I don't like this dinosaur. Like, how am I supposed to feel that way?